Hey guys, okay, so it's Monday the 27th of May. I uh, thought I'd try another vlog. Uh, the last one seemed to go pretty well. Uh, I've not done one of these in a while. Uh, it's been probably months, to be honest. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd try it again and uh, just kind of show you a few things that I have here and update you guys. Um, I'm going to flick the camera around because I'm going to show you some pickups. Uh, these were all charity shop pickups, but I got some really good stuff at the boot sale today as well. So yeah, I'm going to flick it around and I'll show you. So first up, I've got these uh, speakers here. These are Philips uh, for RH something. I can't really remember them. They're cold, but uh, I paid £10. And I had my eye on these for a while. Um, they were like, they were up at 40 and then they came down to 20 and then finally they just wanted to get rid of them at 10 But uh, they have sold previously for about 60 quid, and that was collection only. So, uh, yeah, I might try maybe 80 with shipping. They might go abroad, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, they're in okay condition. Unfortunately, let me move this lava. As you can see, it really isn't very good at all. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get 60 uh, in this condition. I don't know if I can clean it up. But, uh, yeah, I've got to test them. But maybe with that damage, maybe... Maybe not 60, I don't know. But if I get 40, 50 quid, to be honest, I'll be happy with that. I only paid a tenner. But they are very, very heavy. So, uh, next up, we just got a couple of board games. Totopoly, I sell that one quite often. I pay a pound for that. Um, you can only see the price tag of that one. But And also the Master Detective game, Sherlock Holmes. Uh, it's not a great seller, to be honest. But I saw it and uh, I've never picked it up before. Uh, it was only a quid, so yeah. I thought I'd go on that, and I also picked up these, which were 50 pence each, as you can see there. Um, they are the tape versions, but uh, I probably should get about 20 quid for those. So you think, what, one, two, three pounds into 20, so yeah, okay for that. Totopoly, by the way, it should be like 10, 15 quid. Uh, I'll probably try a tenner on that, it, unless it's one of the versions that, but there's loads of versions of this, and I think this is unfortunately one of the modern ones. Uh, if you get one of the older ones, you can get sort of 20 quid. I think this is probably one of the newer ones, so I'm probably only looking at 10, as I say. But uh, I might be wrong. Uh, yeah, but I'm okay with that. So you think 10, £2 there, £3 there. 15 quid for that lot. Not too bad. Uh, I'm going to show you uh, what else I picked up. I picked up this uh, bundle for 40 quid, which was quite high, but um, sometimes you just have to pay certain prices for stuff and this was a, a local charity shop I know the manager there so he called up uh, out of the blue and said look I've got a PlayStation 3 console with some PlayStation Move con um, controllers boxed and this one is all boxed with the manual and everything and in fact this one also if I can get this comes with the little nunchuck uh, Wii Move controller as well which is pretty cool um, this originally when it was new I took the tag off but it was 39.99 should still get about 30 to 35 pounds for this uh, we got the uh, PlayStation Move starter pack and it is fully complete with the controller and the camera and the software and all stuff like that um, once again should get about 40 45 for that uh, and then I've got like the main I've got two controllers, one wireless and one like silver. Let me try and get these out for you guys. Um, yeah, so I've got the wireless controller there uh, and just like a silver wired one at the bottom with the power lead and HD cable. A whole bunch of games. Uh, down there is uh, Sleeping Dogs. And then we've got, let's have a look. We've got a couple of CODs, Gran Turismo 5, Uncharted 3, Uncharted 2, and a couple of Badfield Bad Companies. Badfield? Battlefield. Uh, PlayStation 3 console, fully working, fantastic. I wasn't expecting it to work, to be honest, when I got it, but yeah, I'm happy with that. So, I'm going to try and aim for like 50, 60 quid on the console and the games, uh, and then 40 plus for those. So yeah, I should get my money back, make sort of 50, 60 quid before fees. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, and now I'm actually going to show you my uh, car boot sale haul, which uh, I was really, really quite pleased about. 
Okay, so um, first up is this. Uh, I won't take it all out of the bag, but it's a Sony CFS 200L radio. Got the uh, the manual in there with like the lead and stuff. Got a test these yet, but this was a car boot sale purchase, and I paid three quid for that. And uh, also, if I can actually get this manual back in. Ah, oh, that would do. I also paid three quid for this, which is a Sony CFD9 a CD cassette recorder, all from the same lady, all from the same store. Uh, this one here, this is these are pretty cool. Uh, so now it's a, a HD490 classic head, headphones. Uh, never been used, but the box is a bit. Well, actually, you know what? The box isn't battered. It's just it's just a bit of wear, really. Uh, so I paid four quid on those, and the lady actually said three to four pounds. But I decided to pay four because of everything else I got as well. Uh, this is pretty cool. This is a Creative Zen uh, Nano Plus MP3 player. A bit dated now, but still get 20 quid on that. Uh, this is actually really quite cool. The AR108 communication receiver. Um, these are actually really, really good. They've sold for between like 20 at auction and like 35 to 40. Uh, boxed so yeah I'm gonna try sort of higher end on that uh, next up we have this uh, box Sony Discman D180AN uh, really nice condition all complete with manuals everything the boxes are like pristine um, which are cool got this uh, Philips AX1000 uh, this is like another 20 pound uh, uh, CD player I think that one was about 30 or 35 I can't remember I've got this one here, and there's actually a guy asking £30 for a broken one at the moment, so I'm going to try like 50 quid on this. Uh, WM FX211. Uh, by the way, these were £2 each. So two, 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 two and two. Uh, next up, we've got this box, another box Walkman, WM EX10. Uh, once again, really nice condition. And I think once again someone was asking like 30, 35 pounds for a really damaged box one. So yeah, I'm going to try about that. Uh, this is a, a personal attack alarm system. Uh, not great, unfortunately, about five as well. Paid, paid a pound on that, I think. Uh, got this uh, like little. It's not a Rubik's cube. It's a off-brand one. Wonderful puzzler or something. Uh, it goes for about sort of six to ten quid. I paid a pound. And also I've got these on that stool. Uh, these are official Sony ones. I might bundle them up with one of these. I don't know. I think one of them doesn't have the headphones. Uh, and I've got a bunch more. This is another Zen. Creative Zen headphone set. Uh, these are Motorola headphones. I I don't know if I've got any use for them really, or if there's any value in reselling. Uh, and there was like a whole bunch more headphones. These are like really weird headphones, and yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to use any of these. But uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool. And I also got these, which I really love. Um, these are 1992 Ertl, um, E-R-T-L that is, uh, Batman die costs and a really nice little set there I'm gonna try for about 20 quid I paid two on them they're 50 pence each so yeah uh, pretty decent and there's a couple more like bands and leads and stuff but yeah so pretty decent uh, so yeah so all in all a really good uh, little visit to my local boot sale I actually went to it Saturday and there was I mean there was so many stalls the weather's been fantastic here so many stalls so many sellers so many buyers, but there just wasn't anything I wanted and nothing I saw. Um, and I wasn't actually going to go today. It was actually Phoebe who said, look, you know, perhaps we should go today as well. And I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. Um, I had a lot of other things to do. But she convinced me to go, and I'm glad she did, because I want a pizza pain otherwise. So um, I've got, a, well, I've just done a ton of packing. So I've just done all the, I'll try not to show any, uh, like, details and stuff. But, uh, yeah, so I've just done all of these. I think there's, like, ten here. 
Uh, and then there's also all of that for Hermes, which is another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I think. Uh, I've just had another two sales come in, and I've also just sold this, which is really good. This is a uh, Mr. Potato Head storage unit with like Mr. Potato Head inside. I paid four pounds for that a long time ago, and it's just sold for twenty nine ninety nine. So yeah, happy with that. So yeah, really happy with that. Obviously, it's taken me most of the day to actually pack that stuff. Some of it is like really heavy stuff. I've sold like a food mixer. Uh, a vacuum cleaner, uh, all sorts of stuff has gone, um, like a big Imaginex uh, Batman cave, I think it was a transforming cave, paid a pound on that and just sold that for 25 so that was pretty good, um, and also one of the sales I have had um, is uh, one of these, uh, I don't know which one yet, but I bought a whole bundle of these, and uh, actually I'm going to put them down here and flip the camera around and show you. So yeah, I bought a whole bunch of these. This is a uh, manga characters Maid and Miko. I don't really know what a Miko and a Maid is, but well, I know what a Maid is. But and more about pretty girls. Um, and this is like all manga and anime. Actually, I want I best not open too many pages. <laughs> I don't quite know what's in there, but um, yeah, but they're really really decent. Uh, books. I bought uh, 16 of these, and these were I've, I've just sold another one, so I've actually only got two left now. Uh, let me let me just change that cover. There we go. So yeah, um, so I bought 16 of these uh, for 25 quid in a charity shop, and I've sold all bar two of them for 10 pounds each. So uh, one guy actually just purchased like 10 in one order. So it was almost like a hundred pound order, which was really, really cool. Um, so yeah, so one more gone, got another two listed still for 9 dollars 9 each. So yeah, happy days. So yeah, um, I think I'm going to leave Monday here. I'm basically just going to go feed the birds, uh, shower and relax for the rest of the evening. As uh, I'm just tired and it's now, I don't even know what time it is, but it's now 20 to 7. Uh, PM, and I've been working since uh, about half seven, eight this morning. Uh, I was picking, and then we went out to the boot sale. Come back, I was checking up my purchases, of course. Then I went straight into packing. Uh, while watching uh, Zahir, or playing a bit of Fortnite, I find watching his live stream while I'm packing or working just perfect, you know, because uh, you can kind of zone in and out of work a little bit. So yeah, um, I've now got to just chill out for the rest of the night. I'll try and update you tomorrow with something. I don't know what I'm doing. I think I'm actually in quite a bit tomorrow. So yeah, um, I'll end that here. Um, hope you guys have had a good Monday. And uh, I'll update you tomorrow. Cheers. Hey, uh, okay, so it's now Tuesday. It's about 20 past 8. Uh, I've been up since about 20 to 7. I've uh, been sort of picking a few items and checking my eBay store, checking messages, things like that. Uh, I've just picked a few orders that went overnight, uh, which is always good when you can wake up to some. Uh, so I've still got all of my Royal Mail ones to at least bag up and just uh, attach a label to those. So yeah, so I've still got to wait for Hermes in today, so there's probably not going to be too many updates today. But uh, I might do a sales update at some point, uh, so you'll probably see that before you see this. But uh, yeah, I'll flip the camera around. Let's just show you what I sold. So, um, like I was saying yesterday, I sold this book here. It is How to Draw Manga, More About Pretty Gals. And it's uh, by Hikaru Hayashi. Uh, really, really good book set this. Like I said, I had like 16 of these. I bought for £25. And uh, yeah, I've got like... How many have I got left? I've got two left. So yeah, not too bad. Um, so that went for £10, and I've got this Joker figure which is from uh, Arkham City, or no, I can't remember, uh, and it's from the computer game series, the video game series. This went for a tenner as well, I can't remember how much this went for, I think it went like a fiver, but it's the 100 greatest video games ever, um, still sealed, I picked up four of these, I can't even remember where now, but I bought four of these for like a pound each. 
Uh, this one's only gone for a five, uh, but the others have gone for 20. Uh, but this one was just hanging around so long, I just shoved it up at auction. Uh, and that went. And this really nice Bob Marley t-shirt, uh, which I've had for a long, long time. Uh, it's actually not as creased as the camera's making it look there, but yeah, really, really nice design on that. Um, and that just went for a couple of quid. So, yeah, not too bad. Um, it's still clearing out some items because obviously we're trying to move house. So it's nice to still be selling some bits and pieces that have been around a long while. So, yeah, that's really uh, what I've got to pack up next. <laughs> Okay, so all these are now packed up. Obviously, I'm uh, hiding any address details because of, you know, data protection and what have you. But I can now add them to this pile here, which is going out. And obviously, I've still got the Hermes stuff waiting to be picked up there. So uh, now to quickly see if two of these are actually large letters. Obviously, not that one. Um, maybe I think it's going to be a couple of those two. So this one, I think this one might be because um, it is only a T-shirt, very thin T-shirt. Yes, I think this one is definitely a large letter. It will definitely go through. It does take a bit of my handling, but it does go through. Um, now, remember the rule with Royal Mail. Despite some post offices telling you otherwise, the rule is now that post office employees can use a bit of force to get it through. As long as it fits, that's all that matters. It doesn't have to drop through on its own accord anymore. Um, they've changed that. Well, I certainly changed that online, like, few years ago now but some postal offices still explain the whole rule about it has to drop through on its own accord it doesn't you can put it through so next up is this one and this one I think definitely will go through yeah no worries so yeah so these two are large letters at least so that's cool they'll be cheaper okay so next up is having to weigh all of the raw mount ones um, and I use these Ultra Ship Ultra 75 scales, which I love. So yeah, I've got to do that now. So yeah, I can uh, then start actually putting all these into uh, into a mailing bag. Okay, so uh, postage is done, as you can see there. Got the sack going on. And I uh, also just had a £65 Playmobil sale. And like instantly, within a minute or two, got a message from the guy saying, I'm really sorry, uh, my six-year-old son put in an offer. Uh, which was strange because a six-year-old son also knew exactly how much to put in just to get postage off as well, which was nice. Um, so yeah, 
uh, we don't believe that for a single second and uh, yeah that's a shame it happens he's on the block list so that ain't gonna happen again so uh, yeah unfortunately that sale had to be cancelled and that's been relisted already so fingers crossed it goes again quick but uh, yeah so that's my sort of packaging done for the day really just gotta do the manifest and all that stuff for right now so yeah uh, this may be the last update for today I don't know I may do a sales update and that will be a completely separate video. So uh, yeah, I may update you again later or at least tomorrow. Cheers. Okay, so it's now Wednesday morning. It's half past nine. I've uh, already done my, my packing for today. I've been up since about 20 to 7-ish. Uh, done loads of photographs. Uh, I'll actually turn this around and show you. So I photographed some uh, speaker systems and these big, really heavy Philips speakers, vintage ones. A polyphonic keyboard, not really much in that, it's like an air keyboard. Um, so yeah, so I've photographed those, let me just get you out of light. And uh, so yeah, so now I'm going to attempt to build a Doctor Who playset. Um, I've seen it in a charity shop before and it had like a £6 price tag on it. And I remember thinking at the time, if it had been complete, probably would have been okay to buy. Not much money in it, uh, but if you can bundle it with some figures, I only think I've only got like one at the moment. But if you can bundle it with some figures... Uh, you might do like 25 quid so uh but i left it i left it at that day and i've actually found another one and i don't know if it's complete i'm gonna flip the camera around and show you this because there are quite a lot of parts to it so i'm gonna attempt that so yeah here we have it um i can't even remember the name of the set but there's like loads and loads of bits in here i don't think there's any figures in here um i wouldn't imagine so uh, but it, I mean, there's a lot, of it, a lot of it is here, so I'm kind of hoping that it's all here. I think Ad Robinson would probably already be looking at this and thinking, nope, that bit's missing and that bit's missing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm hoping, hoping that it's all here. Um, there's like all these kind of weird bits and stuff in here as well. So I don't think I've anything to do with this set, but I might be right. I'm pretty sure Doctor Who doesn't ride a horse, so at least I think that's a horse. Is uh, there is, however, <laughs> half a TARDIS. So yeah, so I don't know. We will see. I mean, I'm pretty. I don't know if Doctor Who had a hat rack. I've never seen Doctor Who come home and just like throw his hat on there, but who knows? So yeah, I'm going to attempt that and see if it's all complete, uh, and I'll show you the results, whatever they are, uh, a bit later. So yeah, so that's what I'm going to do uh, from now on really, is just try and build that and see if it's complete and get it listed. Uh, I'm also going to carry on watching Bex. I've got Bex's Stitching Bitch on my laptop there uh, from last night, I believe. Uh, I've never got a chance to watch it live, so I would like to catch up with YouTube videos in the morning. So yeah, um, that's what I'll be doing next. And I'll update you whatever happens throughout the rest of the day. I don't know, it's just going to be me listing, so it's probably not going to be much happening, but yeah, we'll see. And here we go. So yeah, as you can see, it does have the, uh, the seat, and it's got the TARDIS door, which I originally I thought was just half a TARDIS door, but as you can see, it is actually part of the playset, and it's got like the time continuum or whatever on the outside, and it's got just some detailing on the inside. Um, got a couple of bits here, which I don't know what they are too. Uh, and, and it turns out the hat rack is actually part of this playset. I never remember. Uh, then again, I don't really watch Doctor Who that often anymore, but I used to. Uh, all the lights work. Uh, the batteries aren't in it at the moment, but there's various buttons around the place that you can press. And uh, these go up and down and shine up blue. Uh, so that all works. Still don't know where this part goes, to be honest. Still left with these little accessories. So I may have to ask Ad Robinson uh, and see if he actually recognises any of these bits from the show. Uh, still don't know about the like, horse guard and a little wagon thing, but I uh, had to use some air, uh, air duster spray, which is great for electronics. But uh, I actually used it in there for just to clean up the, uh, the switch, as every time you switch it on and off, you were kind of getting like an intermittent power fault. Uh, it turns out it was just dust on the button. So yeah, pretty happy with that. I don't know how much I'm going to try and sell it for, but yeah, for four quid, no brainer really. I'll take it every day. 
So now it's time to do some lunch, and I think I'm gonna go with chicken goujons. Pretty sure the date is still okay. Yep, very fast. I'm gonna put them on, and I will update you guys a little bit later. Hey, uh, okay, so it's Thursday morning. Uh, I just realised I forgot to actually sign off sort of Wednesday, so I apologise for that. Um, I got sort of way too far into the Europa League final, and then I was watching Zaheer and Steve's lives. Uh, so yeah, um, today's just going to be a tidying day. My office is looking like a tip uh, at the moment, to be honest. Just things everywhere, new stock everywhere. Old stock hasn't been put away yet. So uh, yeah, that's going to be today's job. I want to show you a couple of sales I had overnight, though, which I'm uh, quite happy with. Um, so I'll flick around the camera and show you those. So first up, we have uh, this Sony PSP charger. Uh, got £10 on that with free shipping now, so uh, but it doesn't cost much to send. Uh, so that's that's okay, that's pretty decent. That's actually, um, I actually ordered that. I won that auction for like £1.20 because um, I actually had a Sony PSP recently that I picked up from a charity shop for like 40 quid, but it had some really good games with it which I sold on their own for between 15 and 20 and the actual Sony PSP unit also went for like 60 so um, yeah, so that was pretty cool. It could, mainly because the uh, Sony PSP unit was also boxed with manuals and stuff. So, but uh, I ordered one of these, but it arrived too late as uh, I'd already sold the PSP unit. So I just decided to resell that. So yeah, ten pounds. Uh, this is quite nice. This is a Disney Cars uh, Imagine Next. I think it's the Tokyo Tokyo playset. I think it is, and it kind of all opens up and. Uh, got like a car wash in there some other bits and pieces going on there I don't really know what that is but yeah it kind of does something uh, and also there's a whole bunch of Disney cars um, this I, I paid a pound for this and these were in various uh, like two pound fifty huge toy bags that I often buy uh, and these are often thrown in, so I just kind of collect them in a bundle and then sell them on eventually. But when I picked up this, I decided to bundle them together. And I got 15 quid for the lot. Uh, the cars probably, I mean, they'd cost me like 5p a car. Uh, because of the, the amount I buy them in and the bulk. So, yeah, not too bad uh, on those, on that. But this also sold, which was cool. This is the PlayStation Move controller. Uh, but it also has the... I can open it. it has the, the nunchuck uh, controller in there as well and uh, I put this up for £45 and uh, got an offer of 40 which I took because I paid £40 for uh, a bundle which came with, with that and also that, most of that stuff down there so the PS3 controllers wired and wireless and a bunch of games so yeah happy with that um, so I've got to pack these up for that will be Hermes purely because of the size that will be Hermes because of the value. I know I'll get that back if it goes missing. And that will probably just be raw mail. But, uh, yeah, so, all in all, not a bad overnight sales. Hey, uh, okay, so it is Saturday afternoon. Uh, sorry that I didn't update you yesterday, or at least I don't think I updated anything yesterday. Uh, wasn't really much to update. Had a sort of a busy day at home, really. Had uh, visitors around and stuff, so... Couldn't really film much, but I uh, thought I'd show you a few things today that has uh, sort of come into my possession to, to sell on. Uh, I don't really know too much about them. don't even know really what I've got yet. Uh, certainly haven't priced them up. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to flip the camera around and show you uh, just some bits and pieces. Okay, so first up, uh, basically, these are mostly tools uh, and bits and pieces. So we have these, which are uh, work zone... What's that? Titanium Plus Premium Screw Set. Um, yeah, don't really know too much about those, but uh, we'll see what they fetch. There we go. That's those. Uh, we also have this. This is a Draper Tool Company. Okay, so what's that, like a ratchet or something? I don't know. I, I can never remember which one that is, but I'm not really a, a tool kind of person. I, I've never really been a, a DIY guy. So, yeah, so we got those. 
and we've got one here that says work zone it's upside down but uh, okay so that's like drill parts yeah these are drill bits I think that one must go up there it seems to be complete yeah okay that's pretty cool so they're all drill parts from uh, work zone and a nice little box it's pretty decent and we also have these, I won't get them out of the bags, but these are uh, fishermen's chairs. So, uh, or fishing chairs, I don't know what you call them. But there's a couple there, I don't know if they really have any value. Um, got this uh, nice Black & Decker Workmate 550. Does need quite a bit of a clean up, but uh, yeah, pretty decent. Uh, got this, which is pretty cool. This is an Evolution Fury 3 um, saw. And uh, it really does need a good clean up, but it's, you know it has all its like bits and pieces with it. it. Doesn't have its manual and stuff, of course. I would imagine this would be a local collection kind of item. Probably look at about I don't know, forty to sixty quid on this. I would imagine. So yeah, but it does need quite a clean up, as you can see. Got a couple of bags of bits here. This is a like a tea set. Not a tea set, a uh, full set. I don't know what it says there. That says English Ironstone Tableware Limited. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to have a look at that. I don't usually deal with that kind of stuff. But I'm going to have to have a look at that. And uh, we've also got in here like a mantle clock so we'll have to have a look at a work zone drill so I might be able to bundle that up the drill parts got another drill here and yeah some I don't know some bits and pieces I have to really research okay so that's going to be one of the batteries for them so yeah so as long as I've got the batteries and stuff then that's going to be okay and lastly a couple of bits here which uh unlocked this is another work zone and uh, okay so this is a work zone drill with some drill parts okay so that's pretty decent that's an all-in-one I'm pretty sure with drills are like they can be hit and miss sometimes so uh, so I've not heard of Kamasa tools and uh, let's see what we've got inside here oh okay Okay, well that's pretty cool. There's sockets. Uh, sockets. The other one's not ratchet. Sockets. So yeah, so it's a socket set. So obviously yeah, that's another socket set that's up there. So yeah, that's um, that's pretty decent. I mean, they look they look to be pretty good quality, but to be honest, I don't really know much difference. So yeah, I'll try and get that. I don't know. I mean, I think this is. Oh, it says it up here actually. Commander Tools. Uh, square drive, 42 piece socket set, made in Taiwan. So yeah. If it was like uh, Japan or Germany or something like that, that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, so not too bad. Uh, is in a bit of a state, but then again, I don't know how old it is, so it might just be in a state, or it might just be vintage. I don't know. So yeah, so that's what I've got to uh, try and photograph and research today, and get them listed. Um, and of course, today for me, Champions League final. I'm a big Liverpool fan, so. Yeah, I hope I'm smiling by the end of the night, but uh, yeah, so my, most of my evening is going to be taken up with football, so i just got to basically just get to work and, uh, and do as much as possible. I'll uh, try and maybe vlog a bit later, depending on how the match goes. <laughs> I might be crying, but uh, yeah, so uh, that's probably it for now. Cheers. Hey guys, uh, okay, so it's Saturday. It's about quarter to eight, uh, so I'm getting ready to watch the Liverpool Spurs match, as you can see. Got my shirt on, so it was quite lucky last time I wore it. I wore it against uh, when they played Barcelona at home, and we ended up winning 4-0. So, yeah, fingers crossed we're going to win. But uh, I know there's some people here watching this video that probably can't stand Liverpool, so feel free to uh, thumbs down once you see this. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Either way, whoever wins should be a cracking match. And to be honest, even if Spurs win, I mean, that would be huge for their club. So, yeah, um, that's about it. I will probably do a bit of an update at half-time. 
and also an update at full time. Uh, my mood may have changed significantly depending on what happens. But uh, yeah, well, I'm getting ready to have some dinner, have some fish and chips. And uh, yeah, I'll update you soon. Hey guys, okay, so a quick half time update. It's Liverpool 1, Spurs 0. Scored in like the first minute and a half, which was amazing. Uh, still quite cagey game, but uh, yeah, we're doing okay. Tottenham can come back into it though, so uh, yeah, hopefully my lucky shirt that Phoebe bought me for Christmas is doing its bit. Uh, and I'm about to have some ice cream to celebrate our half-time win. Uh, I'll update you again at full-time, and uh, yeah, cheers. Hey guys, okay, so the match is over. We've won 2-0. Champions. Whip, 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 whip. <laughs> that was Phoebe. <laughs> cool. Just want, to, just want to quickly update you over the moon. To be honest, the match wasn't that great, was it, Han? Nope. There you go. Nope. Uh, but, hey, we won. That's all that matters. So, uh, yeah. Champions, champions, ole, ole, ole. Hey, guys. Uh, okay, so it's Sunday morning, half past eight. I'm just having a coffee now. And uh, yeah, I'm just still just getting over last night's match, really. Um, yeah, it takes a while to sink in sometimes when your team wins something like that big. Um, last time was 2005, and um, my mum was still around then, and it was like the last final that me and my mum watched sort of together. And I remember, um, <clears throat> I remember I had my Liverpool scarf on, and uh, for those of you that know that match, at half time we were 3 0 down to AC Milan who are you know are an elite team in Europe not so much nowadays but certainly then they were still winning you know big cups quite regularly but um three nil down to a team like Milan you, you know you've got no hope no hope of going back pretty much and I remember um sort of walking into the room where my mum was and sort of taking off my Liverpool scarf and throwing it down and saying you know typical Liverpool we get this far and then we lose it you know we we mess up at the final hurdle again and and she's like, no, no, it'll be fine, it'll be fine, you've still got a half. And I'm like, I was trying to explain to my mum how good AC Milan were and how coming back from that type of 3-0 uh, deficit was almost impossible. But we did it, we managed to come back and we won on penalties and, yeah, we, it was a great, great day in the end. So it brought back a lot of memories from when I was watching the last one with my mum as well. But yeah, um, me and Phoebe watched it, really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, just still getting over that. But anyway, back to reselling stuff. Uh, it's made a good couple of sales. I'm going to try and maybe sort of post a picture of them here because, say, recording my screen. Um, so a couple of sales that went overnight was um, another part of that uh, would have been Monday, Bank Holiday Monday boot sale haul, which uh, it was a, a Creative Zen Nano Plus 1 gigabyte edition. Uh, and I got £25 for that, and I paid two, so that was pretty cool. Uh, I actually accepted an offer I'd for twenty nine ninety nine, and accepted the £25, which uh, I was pleased with. And also a uh, this little Disney Traditions, um, little figurine, looks like ceramic. I say ceramic, it may not be ceramic. Porcelain, or even maybe just like a hard resin. I don't really know what they're made out of. Um, little figurine, and it was a Happy Go Lucky the uh, from uh, Lady and the Tramp. I paid a pound for this a long, long time ago. This was probably one of my items that had the most interest, the most watchers, the most offers, but they were always pretty low, like 10, 15 quid. Um, I had this on for 40, so I had it on quite high anyway, but I, even if I knew it wasn't really worth that much, I had best offer on, so people could always you know, throw in something. And I sent out some offers to watchers at like 30, 35 pounds, still no takers. Um, and it was just sitting there, and I had it on for months and months and months, maybe four months. And somebody came in with a £23 offer and I snapped their arm off because, to be honest, um, considering how long it's, it's actually been sitting around for, I'm happy to take 23 quid for that. So yeah, um, only two sales yesterday. It's, you know, it's up and down. My, um, my inventory is actually quite low at the moment as well because I'm trying to not plow on too much because I know that we're probably going to be moving soon. Um, or at least hope to be moving soon. Uh, in fact, I might just do like, I'm going to have my coffee, have some breakfast and stuff. And I might just do a little update later explaining what's happening with that because I'm getting quite a few people asking me how's the move going and stuff. So it'd be nice just to film a bit rather than 
reply to everybody. Uh, so yeah, so I hope you guys have had a great weekend so far. I'll update you again a little bit later. Um, cheers. Hey guys, okay, so a little bit of an update. Uh, made a couple more sales today, which I was quite pleased with. Uh, sold a uh, Mega Bloks uh, Kraken, like figurine from the Pirates of the Caribbean set. Uh, this was in a box that I picked up for five pounds, and uh, I think there was like loads of other figures and Transformers and stuff in there, which I've already done pretty well with. In fact, I think I showed one of the Transformers in a uh, sales video that I uploaded the other day. And the Kraken I paid a pound for um, separately. So although I picked up at the same time as the box, um, there was like a couple of loose figures. And I said, look, um, if I was to throw that in as well, what would you do on that? And the lady said, uh, a pound. A pound for that. Sold that for £20. I'll put a little picture up there somewhere. Sold that for 20 quid. I was quite happy with. But the best sale of the day for me was uh, these speakers that I've got behind me here. These are... Vintage 1970s Philips speakers. I uh, think I showed them in this vlog already. Paid £10 for them. And they sold today for £90 uh, plus shipping. Plus £15 shipping. Now they're going to Asia. I believe they're going to Korea. Um, but luckily they're going through a UK distribution centre. So it um, shouldn't be a problem. They are heavy. Really heavy. But uh, yeah, really good sale. I was... Uh, Practically a hundred quid on that, so yeah, really, really good. Um, but also, what I'm going to talk about a little bit is the house move. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me, and to be honest, this has been it's been on the cards for a while. Um, we, you know, we we went a long time ago to look at the place, fell in love with it instantly, made an offer practically instantly, uh, and it's been accepted. And uh, without going into too much details of everything that's happened. It's just kind of still dragging on a bit. It's all solicitors and one set of solicitors asking for certain information and then the other set of solicitors saying we've got the information and then the original set of solicitors saying we haven't quite got all the information we need. It's all paperwork, it's all tape and uh, we hope that this week, or sorry next week I guess, we'll kind of have a big update on that. But as it stands at the moment, for anybody who's asked, and I, we always appreciate people asking, uh, it's nice to know that people want to know, you know what we're up to. But um, for all of you asking, we're not quite there yet. We're close, but we're not quite there yet. So, uh, yeah, I'll update you again uh, on that. This will probably be the last update on this vlog. It's now Sunday. I'm about to sort of settle down and watch... Uh, George Ross's interview uh, with Mrs. Ross, which is pretty cool. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, I think it's on at the moment, but I kind of missed a bit. And uh, I want to catch from the start. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the vlog. Um, I enjoy doing these. They're not always, you know, packed full of reselling stuff. It could be a bit of everything. But, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I uh, hope you guys have a great week. Cheers.